Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to draw the grids and levels in Revit. Revit. Okay. Now go to new file. Select uh, Revit structural template. Okay. Now it's opening. Then uh, first you have to draw the grids first. Before that you have to set the units. UN enter. UN just type UN not required to enter and I will set in meters two decimals okay then draw the grids according to your plan according to your structure plan you can import uh, the plan also yeah, and you can link the plan from uh, Revit structure or uh, Revit architecture plan also possible so first I will show you how to draw the grids you can simply draw the grids like this so like and here is a modify bar will be open here is an option called pick pick lines and center and arc radius and here is option called start and radius it's not required now so i'll go with the pick lines you can pick the line give the offset yeah be a similar distance worth of pick line use kar sakte hai. Except I'm a 4 meter diya, aram se grid grid draw karke aap jaa sakte hai baad mein iska diamond, uh, length to change kar sakte hai you can see here I will change it into 4 meter and I will change the dimension from 4 to 6 meter also possible then 6 meter you can see here again go to grids for vertical grids you can draw from here 1 sorry you can see here it also showing the distance between two grids you can draw, draw the grids like this also possible okay you can adjust also you can move if you click the grids here is the option called 9 and some options add elbow add elbow is nothing but if you click here you can move around like like this you can adjust if the grid is overlapping like two grids will be same point after that it will over overlapping so you can using that you can use elbow command and you can move then here hide bubble if you uncheck the hide bubble the bubble will be hidden you can see it's not showing if you check if you check the bubble you can see it's again it will visible you can see So it is easy to use because you can show the number from two sides also possible. You can see here from this to this. Simply check the bubble lines. Yeah. You can select the entire thing. It's not possible. So bubbles, bubbles. Okay. Then more important thing is you have to change the name. So I will draw a little bit properly. I will delete this one and again I will draw the grids so it's clear to understand so I am starting from basic to advanced so it is a little bit easy to understand okay you can check the bubbles here from here also it's possible now you have to give the naming it's one two three four five six it will take default naming so now you can change the uh, it's already one two three four five six it's a continuous number you can change here like you can give a b c d so it will change it automatically from 
right side also it will change automatically so for if you want to move the uh, entire grid you select the one grid here you can see one line is appearing just move from out so outward or inward you can see here so it is easily place the column here from the uh, center point of the grid now i will show you how to draw the levels you can see here only two levels are appearing so you can change the height of the levels also possible here is option called levels if you go to elevation then the level is visible simply click the levels and you can draw 3.8 meter like and the better best option is you can go to pick lines and give the offset so i will go with 3 meters just pick the lines you can see here in levels you can shift also same you can move right side or left side and you can check the bubble option from here also it's possible you can see and elbow is elbow also possible you can see everything is possible in revit no need to worry so then you can change the name here so it's a level one it's considered as a zero and it's like a plinth level etc you can change it here so make it as it possible change the ground floor plan like it's possible so i'll change it here make that way you can make one number for ground floor because it will order in alphabetical order so ground floor ground floor is visible in that particular uh, floor uh, like uh, ground floor first floor second floor it's a little bit easy to identify the uh, floors uh, using numbers so from here so what do you say uh, So before that, I will adjust a little bit. Make sure that it is one meter. So I will adjust a little bit more. Zero point six. Make it as a plinth level. So before that, I will uncheck the bubbles here, and for ground floor, I will uncheck the bubbles here. You can see here. If you check the bubbles, it's overlapping now. So I will use the elbow command like this. Okay. So I will change the name here. Plinth. Make it as minus one. Plinth level. So you can see here. Uh, first, the plinth floor uh, is uh, visible. Then after ground floor. Then for this basement, just I'm uh, showing that some random purpose only. So basement here to type basement. Basement area. Okay. You can see here. Uh, if you type the basement area, it's visible in three, uh, third one, so that you can give minus two, minus zero two. Now it's visible in uh, second one, so can give minus one. Then change it into plinth minus 2 0 2 so why it's not
minus 2 and this is the basement called minus 1 you have to change it but it's uh, not changing you can check yeah now it's changing because you don't give any gap gap in between the numbers so on uh, that the purpose is not changing now it's changed now 0 1 0 2 and 0 1 and you can change the number from here also and you can change the height height easily if you give the 2 meter height it will change automatically you can see here anything is possible in Revit okay ground floor first floor second floor you will name that like so we continue tomorrow from the same time I will up upload one more video you can subscribe my channel also so please do it and follow me please do subscribe for entire structure video thank you guys thank you so much